Sharon had always admired Gerald from afar. Their friendship began in childhood, rooted in laughter and shared dreams beneath a sprawling oak tree in her backyard. They spent countless afternoons together, exchanging secrets about crushes and ambitions, creating a bond that felt unbreakable. As the years progressed, Sharon found herself developing feelings that went beyond friendship. It was a mixture of admiration and something deeper, a connection that stirred within her but remained unspoken. Gerald, focused on his own aspirations, seemed blissfully unaware of Sharon's shifting emotions. He was caught up in his own world, chasing dreams that took him further away from the quiet, yet intense, feelings Sharon harbored. The more she admired him, the more her heart ached to confess her feelings. Yet, the fear of ruining their treasured friendship kept her silent, leading to a bittersweet longing that colored her daily life. As time went on, life carried them in separate directions. Sharon pursued her passion for graphic design, moving to a vibrant city filled with opportunities and challenges. The bustling streets were a far cry from the quiet charm of their small town, but she embraced the change, channeling her feelings for Gerald into her art. Meanwhile, Gerald stayed back, becoming a skilled carpenter, crafting beautiful pieces of furniture that reflected his hands-on nature. While they both flourished in their respective paths, the distance created a void between them, and their once constant communication dwindled. Sharon often reminisced about their shared past, the memories of laughter and whisper dreams under the oak tree haunting her thoughts. Each night, she whispered a prayer, hoping he might notice her existence again, longing for the connection that had once felt so natural and effortless. One fateful day, out of the blue, a message from Gerald illuminated Sharon's phone screen. He had stumbled upon an old photograph of the two of them and felt compelled to reach out. The thrill of hope surged within her, igniting a spark that she thought had long faded. They began to chat regularly, their conversations rich with stories about their lives, struggles, and dreams that had evolved over the years. With each exchange, Sharon felt a flicker of the deep connection they once shared rekindling. Yet, Beneath her excitement lay a shadow of unease, Gerald had recently started dating a woman named Lisa. The stark contrast between Lisa's confident, glamorous persona and Sharon's more understated nature gnawed at her heart. Despite the joy of reconnecting, the thought of Lisa threatened to overshadow their renewed friendship, leaving Sharon feeling vulnerable and conflicted. Even as she navigated these complicated emotions, Sharon chose to support Gerald from a distance. She celebrated his accomplishments and encouraged him in his relationship with Lisa, all the while grappling with the pain it brought her. The emotional turmoil was intense, every smile she wore felt like a mask hiding the anguish within. One evening, after a particularly heartfelt conversation with Gerald, she sank to her knees in prayer, pleading for clarity and courage. The dichotomy of wanting his happiness while running for him herself left her feeling trapped. Days turned into weeks, and the weight of unspoken words and suppressed feelings became unbearable. Sharon longed for a sign, a moment of revelation that would guide her through the uncertainty that hung in the air like a dense fog, obscuring her path forward. Just when Sharon thought her hopes might dwindle into nothingness, a knock on her door one evening changed everything. It was Gerald, standing there with a troubled expression, his presence sending her heart racing. Can we talk? He asked, his voice shaky, as if the weight of the world rested on his shoulders. They settled on her couch, the atmosphere thick with unspoken words and lingering tension. After what felt like an eternity, Gerald finally opened up about his relationship with Lisa admitting that they had been growing apart. He spoke of an emptiness he couldn't ignore, a sense that something vital was missing from his life. Sharon's heart raced with both hope and apprehension as she listened, feeling the tension between them crackle with possibilities. Yet, she struggled to find the words to express her feelings, fearing the vulnerability that came with such a confession. I've been thinking about you, 
Sharon, Gerald finally said, meeting her gaze with an intensity that made her pulse quicken. You were always there for me, and I, I've realized I don't just see you as a friend. Those words hung between them, delicate and fragile, holding the weight of years of unspoken feelings. Sharon's heart soared at his admission, yet her mind raced with doubt. I've always cared for you, Gerald, she replied, tears welling in her eyes as she faced the truth she had long hidden. But I didn't want to ruin our friendship. Their shared vulnerability created an intimate moment, where the years of longing and uncertainty melted away. In that space, they began to explore the possibility of something deeper, a relationship that could blossom from the foundation of their endearing friendship. However, this newfound hope would not come without challenges that lay ahead. In the weeks that followed, their friendship transformed into a tender romance, but it was fraught with obstacles. Lisa, feeling the shift in Gerald's attention, confronted him with intensity, demanding clarity about his feelings for Sharon. The confrontation left Gerald in turmoil, caught between the familiarity of his past with Lisa and the burgeoning connection with Sharon that felt like a breath of fresh air. He wrestled with sleepless nights, each one filled with a storm of emotions. The pressure mounted within him, a cacophony of doubt and desire as he navigated this emotional labyrinth. Each choice felt monumental, and the weight of expectations weighed heavily on his shoulders. Sharon, blissfully unaware of the full extent of Gerald's inner struggle, found solace in their moments together, unaware of the brewing storm that threatened their fragile happiness. One fateful evening, Sharon invited Gerald over for dinner, hoping to share a relaxing evening together. She prepared his favorite meal, attempting to mask her own anxiety with smiles and laughter. As they settled down, the warmth of the moment was abruptly interrupted by Gerald's phone buzzing with an incoming call from Lisa. The hesitation in his eyes sent a wave of dread through Sharon. He answered, and the conversation quickly escalated her heart sinking as she overheard snippets of the heated exchange. I can't be with you if you're still hung up on her. Lisa's voice pierced through the air, sharp and accusatory. Sharon's stomach churned with each word, the reality of their situation hitting her like a tidal wave. When the call ended, Gerald looked lost, a mixture of guilt and confusion washing over his face. I'm sorry, Sharon, he said voice trembling with uncertainty. I need to figure things out. Her heart sank further, knowing that the bond they were nurturing was now precariously hanging in the balance. The silence that followed was deafening, stretching out like an endless void. Days turned into weeks, and Sharon's heart ached with uncertainty. She longed for the warmth of their conversations, the laughter that filled her home, but instead, she was left with only echoes of what once was. Each day felt heavier than the last as she prayed fervently, pouring her soul into each plea, hoping for guidance and clarity. One rainy evening, feeling lost and overwhelmed, Sharon made a decision to visit their old oak tree, the sacred spot where their friendship had blossomed. Standing beneath its sheltering branches, memories flooded back with a bittersweet intensity. She closed her eyes, whispering her hopes and fears into the wind, wishing for the strength to confront her emotions and the path ahead. When she opened her eyes, the sight before her took her breath away, Gerald stood there, drenched but resolute, his expression conveying a sense of urgency and purpose. I chose you, he said, breathless, the sincerity in his voice echoing in her heart. I've never stopped caring for you. Sharon. I just needed to let go of the past to embrace what's right in front of me. Those words struck a chord deep within her, filling the emptiness she had been feeling with a glimmer of hope. Tears streamed down her face as she stepped forward, wrapping her arms around him tightly, afraid to let go. Are you sure? She whispered, her heart racing with a mixture of joy and fear. More than anything, he replied his grip tightening around her, solid and reassuring. In that moment, years of yearning, silence, 
and uncertainty melted away, replaced by a profound sense of clarity and connection. They stepped forward together, ready to embrace the love that had always been waiting for them beneath the surface, a love that had grown and matured through time and trials. From that moment on, their friendship blossomed into a deep and abiding love, a beautiful testament to the power of patience and understanding. They navigated their new relationship with care, facing challenges together while nurturing the bond that had initially brought them together. Months passed, filled with laughter, shared dreams, and quiet moments that reaffirmed their connection. Gerald proposed one starry night beneath a familiar oak tree, the very place where their journey had begun. The air was thick with emotion as he promised to cherish her for all eternity, sealing their love with a heartfelt vow. Sharon felt a swell of gratitude wash over her, knowing that every silent prayer and longing moment had led her to this point, to this profound love that felt destined. It was a reminder of the beauty that can emerge from years of waiting and yearning, a love that had been quietly building beneath the surface, waiting for the right moment to bloom. Their wedding was an intimate affair, surrounded by the friends and family who had witnessed their journey from childhood to this beautiful new chapter. The ceremony took place under the same oak tree that had served as the backdrop for their innocent dreams and shared laughter. As they exchanged vows, Comma, Sharon couldn't help but reflect on the path that had brought them together. Each moment of longing and uncertainty had shaped their love story, making it richer and more meaningful. She felt a profound sense of belonging, knowing that the roots of their relationship ran deep, grounded in years of friendship and mutual respect. As they shared their first kiss as husband and wife, a wave of joy washed over her and she knew that the silence that had once lingered between them had finally broken. It was replaced by the sweet melody of their love, a symphony they would continue to create together, a harmonious blend of two lives intertwined by fate.